Hi, Collicott kids. Hi, Cunningham kids. Hi, Tucker kids. Hi, Glover kids. Today's project is a cereal box tote. What you will need for this is some kind of box package that is empty. So I have a couple of examples here. I have like an oatmeal box that's empty. And that's kind of a small box, and that's the box I'm going to use today for, um, for the example. You can also use a big giant cereal box, too. So that would make a really nice uh, large size tote. So here's my Honey Bunches of Oats cereal box. It's nice and big. So it's a pretty good size. You can use a cereal box if you want. If you don't have the cereal box, you can use a smaller box like me, like the oatmeal one. So here's an example that I already made. Um, I forget what kind of box this was. I think it was like frozen food, like a frozen food meal. Um, so all I did was cut off the tabs at the top of the box. And then I covered it with some cool paper. I had some scrapbook paper and some uh, construction paper. And then I took a cartoon from the newspaper and put that on as well. I also covered the sides and I also did the back with another cartoon and more paper. I didn't do the bottom, I just didn't bother, but you can do the bottom if you want. You can cover the whole thing. You just don't have to cover the inside. After I did that, I poked a hole in the side here and put some yarn through for a handle. So it's a hole on both sides, so this side and this side. Okay, so I'm going to do one really quickly so you can see the process. So I'm going to put this aside. So here's my oatmeal box. So you're going to open up the flaps or the tabs and you're going to have to cut these off. So there's four of them, right? So you're going to use scissors, of course, to cut them off. You also need some colorful paper or scrapbook paper, whatever you have at home, some yarn or string, um, a markers are optional if you want to decorate, scissors, and some glue. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the flaps. And we don't need them, so just put them aside somewhere. So now I have my nice little tote. Then I'm going to cut some of the colorful paper that I have. Um, I actually pre-cut a few pieces to save some time here. So I have some small pieces. So whatever kind of paper you have at home is fine. You can always decorate it with your markers if you don't have like the scrapbook paper that's patterned. So I'm going to use my glue to glue on a few pieces so you can see. So you can watch me do it. If I can get the glue out. Why is it not coming out? Come on, glue. There we go. So I would cover all the sides, and you don't have to do the bottom, of course. I'll do a couple more. So the blue will fit right there. And I don't want it to cover my hearts, so I'm just going to cut it. Oh, yeah, I don't have to. Yeah, I'll just go like that. So you can cut the paper pieces to fit. You know, if you've got sort of like an awkward space somewhere on your box, just cut the paper so it's the shape that you need. And you can overlap them as well. I definitely overlapped mine. You can see on this one. I mean, all the papers were overlapping each other, so. And I'll do the pink one over here. I'll maybe, yeah, I'll do it right here. I'll do it this way. So I would keep 
at covering it with paper until you can't see the package anymore. Do all the sides. And when you're ready for the string or the yarn, you want to cut a piece that's the length that you prefer for your tote. doesn't have to be a specific length. Just long enough that, to how you want it. <laughs> it can be short, it can be long, whatever you choose. So I'm going to use the pointy part of my scissors to poke a hole. If you have a hole puncher at home, of course use that. I don't have one right here, so I'm just going to poke it with my scissors. Maybe ask um, a grown-up to help you with this part if you don't have the hole puncher and you have to use the scissors. Because I don't want you to hurt yourself here. If I can do it, I'm trying to be careful. I don't know how else I can do this. Maybe on the inside. Yeah. It was just awkward. I had to do it from the inside. So I'm going to put my string through. Well, actually, I should do it this way so the knot is on the inside, right? Oops. Okay. So that it's coming through, and I'm just going to put a knot. Extra big knot so it doesn't come undone. There it is. Yeah. And you do the same thing on the other side. You get the idea. And that's pretty much it. If you have anything else that you can use to embellish, that would be cool too. I have some sort of little rhinestones on tape that would be cool to decorate with. Um, if you have stickers, that would be cool too. I have some different stickers here that I had from some other projects that I did, like kitty and doggy stickers. Whatever you have at home to decorate your tote box, that would be cool. And again, this is called... Um, it's originally called the cereal tote box because I used the big cereal boxes for the project uh, for one of my classes, but you can use any size box that you want. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this project and have fun with it, and I will see you in the next video.